I know it's not that easy to head into the holiday season where all the magic is and kids' eyes are lighting up and you kind of remember feeling that magic. But this year it's a little bit harder because you've experienced some loss this year and maybe someone has left you and you're missing them desperately. Well, that happened to me. I lost somebody this year, my father, and I've been blessed with a few magical moments. And I guess my point in this sharing this video is to help you see that the people that aren't here anymore in the physical form are still here. And they are desperately sending you signs to let you know they're here. So all I'm asking you to do is to open up and look around and consider that that might be true. Last week, my family and I gathered to decorate my mother's house for the first time without my dad. And he was the one that always kind of did it. And we got together and that was tough. And as I was getting ready for people to arrive, I was cleaning my mom's house. I was washing the dishes, just getting ready. And I was standing at the kitchen sink and sure enough, just getting you know, into my business there. And I looked up and in front of me was this hummingbird on the other side of the window. And it's freezing cold outside. I, I guess I wasn't all that schooled with hummingbirds. It was the last thing I expected to see, but it was this hummingbird that had the most beautiful green body, this vibrant green and this vibrant fuchsia head. And it was just glowing in front of me, just flapping around, waiting for me to see it. And then as soon as, I mean, it took my breath away and it had me step back. And to the point where my mom thought I hurt myself because I was like, <gasps> <laughs> and it just, my heart was racing. And I just thought, wow, that was something else. And that filled me up because I really felt like that was a sign from my dad. You know, hummingbirds are a symbol of joy and the fragility of life and to celebrate every moment, no matter what, even the hard ones. And I took it. I took that message as soon as I saw it. And a few, uh, a few minutes later, I, I was finished and I went to go sit outside. And I was sitting outside of my mom's deck and another hummingbird came flying up into my face and hovered in midair right in front of me and sort of zigzag, zigzag, you know, to, and I was just, again, and this time my heart, my whole, like the energy that it was that creating inside of me was breathing. It took my breath away again. And I just sat and prayed it would last a bit longer that I could have a few breaths and breathe it in while it, while it just danced for me. And it did. It stayed for about two or three seconds and I just was in tears. It was so beautiful. And I thought, wow, how spoiled am I to have two of these magical moments in one day? And then at the end of the night, my family and I had these two paper lanterns that were given to us when my dad passed away. And we thought, well, it's not very often we all get together. And we just did this really great thing. We finished the decorating and it was actually not so hard in the end. There were a few tears, but what are tears, except for an expression of love. And we went out into the field and we released these two lanterns. And my sister used her iPhone to use the live photo where it takes about two seconds on either side of the photo. And she sent them to me at the end of the night. And I hadn't, I hadn't really thought too much, but I thought, oh, look, it's got this live thing. So I pushed on my, my finger on the photo. And what I saw took my breath away. And if you are interested, hang on for just another second and I'll show you what it was. But as I pieced the three videos together of that first balloon, the image of a hummingbird appeared between my brother's hand and mine as we released the lantern. And that image of a hummingbird, the light image of a hummingbird, floated up with that balloon right until the end. And we couldn't see it. We actually couldn't see it when we were standing there. But in the video, it is as clear as anything that it's there. And how do I know that's not just a trick? Because the second lantern we lit, there was nothing in the video, nothing. It was just blackness around, like underneath it. I mean, it still floated, but the funny part is the second lantern actually floated into a tree and set on fire. Luckily no one was hurt and it wasn't the big deal, but it was quite comedic that my dad would have us 
end the night on a rather panicky, ridiculous um, note. <laughs> so you're afraid of burning the, the neighborhood down. So, um, so I want to share that video with you because there is magic still here. The magic is still here. And I want you to open up to it because I wouldn't have believed me a year ago or in March when this all happened. Uh, when I first found out who left, but I've seen too many things this year to show me that there's so much more going on. So I hope this comforts you and inspires you and has you looking and feeling into those experiences. Happy holidays and know that if you're missing someone, you're not alone. You live alone. You're not alone. Much love. Merry Christmas, Papa.